Not far from the hustle and bustle of the 24 million inhabitants of Shanghai sits the tranquil water town of Zhuang, where people come from all around to sample a boat tour and catch a glimpse of a Chinese bygone era. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, the spectators continue to pour into the Qijong Forest Sports City Arena to catch a glimpse of some of their favourite tennis stars on the practice courts before play gets underway on day two. The man they all came to see on Tuesday was defending champion Roger Federer. The 17-time Grand Slam winner kicked off the night session on stadium courts against Albert Ramos Vinolas of Spain. And in the first set, it looked the qualifier was out to cause a stir. Ramos Vinolas took the first set on a tiebreak, but Federer can often be at his best with his back against the wall. And the Swiss number one powered through the second set after an early break to push himself back into the ascendancy. He's missed it! Whoa! That is incredible athleticism! But all was not well in the Federer camp in the third set, and Ramos Vinolas was able to capitalise. Oh, there it is again! And that, without a shadow of a doubt, is the biggest win in Albert Ramos Vinolas's career. It's, it's a very good moment for me and, and I think I, I did a good match and I'm really, really happy. I, I just tried to, to be focused on myself because he was serving so good and I, and I was not winning a lot of points with, when I was returning, so I thought I have to, to be focused on myself and then we will see what, what's up if we go very, very, very close. I, I just think the first round here in China has always been historically quite difficult, getting used to the conditions and the surface and the balls, balls of play very different than in other places. Last year I got lucky, uh, this year I didn't, so it's, uh, it's a pity. A seeding of nine for Milos Raonic meant the Canadian would have to negotiate this tournament from the first round. He took on Brazilian number one Thomas Bellucci on stadium court. Already a breakdown, Raonic needed to step up a gear to draw level in set one. Oh, it's good tennis. Constructed the point beautifully and very intelligently too. Having taken the opener on a tiebreak, the ninth seed was remaining dominant on his own serve in the second set. No, too high, too easy. Like the first, it was decided by a tiebreak, and Reinich was always in control. Oh, what a way to shut the gates! Thanks for coming, Reinich. <laughs> Blows Bellucci out of the water in that second set tiebreak. Kevin Anderson took to stadium court for his round one clash with veteran wildcard Tommy Haas, playing for the first time ever as a top ten player. With that career milestone in the bag, the South African was playing full of confidence as he went in search of a break. That break duly arrived and was enough to seal the set. In the early stages of the second, Anderson continued to look the more comfortable. The all-important break came later in the second set, but nevertheless, the 12th seed was able to wrap up the match without the need for a tiebreak. What a way to close it out. Ace number 21 seals the deal for the newest member of the top 10. Joe Wilfried Songa made light work of Victor Estrella Burgos in the last match of the day on stadium court. The Frenchman dropping just five games to set up a third round meeting with Roger Federer's conqueror, Albert Ramos Vinolas. Out on grandstand court, 11th seed Richard Gasquet puts his place in round two with a straight sets win over Tokyo semi-finalist Gilles Miller of Luxembourg. The Frenchman needed a tie-break in the opener, but the second set was a much more straightforward affair. Marin Cilic was a whisker away from elimination in round one against Wu Di, but the former US Open champion was a different player against fellow Croat Borna Cioric in round two. It took the 14th seed just over an hour to blast his way into the last 16. There's big names galore on Wednesday at the Shanghai Rolex Masters as the remaining seven of the top eight seeds get their campaigns underway and we complete round two in Shanghai.